Alrighty guys, today we're going to put together the uh, Mainstays 3 shelf bookcase. I'm going to use the instructions to help us along here, but uh, get everything out of the box. Anyway, uh, first thing you need is the uh, wooden dowels. Okay, we'll try to get those opened here without exploding it everywhere. Get those wooden dowels out, which is part number two. <coughs> You're going to take A1 and B1, which is going to be their label, uh, A1 says here, and there's uh, four holes here, four holes there. Uh, the dowels are going to go into the holes that they fit into, which is the bigger of the two holes, or bigger of the four holes. Uh, so do that and that. So it'll be two on each side. Flipper. Again with the wooden dowels. And then B1, you're going to do the same thing with it. Uh, it says finished edge, but I, I don't know why it's saying finished edge. <laughs> because we're not doing anything with it, you need the finished edge. Uh, we're just putting the dowels in at the moment. So I, I don't know why it's showing that. But you're just going to put the dowel in to the side on the only the holes that they fit. Uh, step one done. Nice. All right, step two. Uh, I'm going to take B1. We're going to place it so that the finished edge is towards you. Um, and it needs to be upside down so that you have the uh, two dowel holes here and the uh, two screw holes there. So we're going to go ahead and place the uh, two dowels into B1. It says to put them in F1, but uh, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, so there's F1, and there's no finished edge. No, there's no finished edge, but this one has four holes. Uh, this one only has two holes. Two holes up. So slide those down onto the dowels. Then you're going to take part uh, five, I think. Yes, five. If you can find that. There we go. Little screws here. There's only two of those, but they're going to go into the uh, two holes that are on top and just screw them right in. Okay, and once you find your driver, uh, use hand tools. Okay, if, if you're not overly familiar with power tools use hand tools okay uh, I mean this one I know what the setting to put it on for the torque to have hand tight okay so that it's set for hand tight uh, that way I don't over tighten stuff and uh, I got a pretty quick trigger finger so I can as soon as I feel resistance, before it goes, then I know it's hand tight. Uh, that's all you do. Put them in. Uh, but yeah, use hand tools if you're not overly familiar with power tools. Because if you can, if you if you put the torque all the way up, you're going to strip right through this, and it's it's just going to destroy it. So uh, definitely use a little screwdriver. Alrighty, for step three, you're going to need pieces one and seven. Uh, one's going to be some screws, and seven's going to be the caps. Ah, we're capping those off here to uh, make them invisible, right? Uh, or at least make it not look like they're screw holes or screws. Uh, little, little, little caps. All right, you're going to need piece D1, which is going to be one of the side legs. Uh, I got the legs down towards me. Now, it says unfinished face up. Okay. So the part with only four holes is the side that's going to be on the outside of this. Uh, and the one with all the holes is going to be on the inside. Because it's going to be how you put your adjustable shelves on. 
And we're going to put A1 and B1 on this. So we'll take A1 and we're going to match that unfinished side with the unfinished side on this. We got unfinished side face up, unfinished side face up. We're going to slide that right, those dowel, wooden dowels into the wooden dowel holes. And then we're going to take two screws and put those screws right into those holes. Ah, we're going to move it. So that we can do that easily. Uh, there's only two holes on this, or four holes on this side. All four we're going to take screws. So. Okay, get those tight. And then you can take your caps if you wish. And put your caps right into those screw heads. Uh, they just snap in. There's just a little button there that goes into the uh, Phelps head part. And then you're going to take B1. And again, unfinished side up, unfinished side up, and this piece down. Slide that in again into the dowel holes. And you're going to put your two screws in. Put your caps on. And part three is done. Or step three, I'm sorry. Step three is done. All right, we're going to rotate this around so we can do step four. Which step four is going to do the same thing. You're going to take, since we have the unfinished side up on these, we're going to put the unfinished side up on C1 as well, or I'm sorry, yeah, C1. And then we're just gonna slide that into those dowels, just like we have already on the other pieces. And it's gonna be the same thing as, as step three with D1. Uh, you're just gonna put those screws right into there, right into those two holes that are on the outside, which are the only two holes, or well, it's four holes, two on each side. Top and bottom, rather. Uh, and put your caps on as well. And we need to move stuff around a little bit. Alright, we'll take that around so we can reach the other two holes. Make sure those dowels get pushed in there. And the two screws up here as well. <coughs> and then put your caps on to hide those screws. Okay, for step five, uh, get your you got your shelf mostly done under your bookshelf. Is it bookshelf? Yeah, bookshelf. You got your, I'm sorry, bookcase mostly done. Uh, they just give you a uh, little tool here, piece number six. Uh, and then you get piece number four for the, uh, look, are those tack screws? No, they're like ribbed little nails. Huh. I thought they were threaded. All right, so you got your all your little nails uh, to put in, and you got your little piece to hold it, which is kind of cool. 
<coughs> and then you got your back piece here, um, which unfolds. And of course, the black side goes towards the inside of the piece. And of course, uh, hmm. okay, which one has the legs? That side has the legs. Yeah, this this side over here has my legs. So I'm gonna put that warning label towards the top. And we're gonna line that up. Now be careful moving this because it does want to come apart because it is perforated where the folds are. And right here, it uh, actually separated it a little bit for me. Thank you. Anyway, we're gonna put the uh, nails in. Uh, well, they're, they got a mark of where all the nails go. So line her up, they can put the nails in. Uh, we'll come back to the next step. Okay, now I should say that this, this little tool that they provide you with, uh, you put your little nail into the hole there, you place it on the side of the, because it's got the edges here, uh, which will run flat, flush with the uh, side of the panel here. So you just kind of slide that on there. Okay, get that nail kind of lined up into the hole, then you can hit it. Uh, that'll place it correctly, uh, the correct distance here. But they did have holes like, and this is mainly if you don't want to like smash your fingers with your hammer, because uh, then you can just hammer that. Uh, of course, you would hold the uh, longer end, that way your fingers are out of the way. Bam, uh, to get your nail started. Although, I've done this enough, I ain't worried about petting my, hand, my fingers. And if I do, uh, well, that's one way to get rid of some arthritis. <laughs> but, uh, Okay, now that the back's on, now you can sit it upright. Are we upright? Or are we upside down? <sighs> okay, so... This piece here, we put on an upside down. Uh, the instructions were not clear on which way it went, and I wasn't paying that much attention, I guess. So we're, that's kind of embarrassing. That's all right, we'll take these screws out, uh, and we'll flip this around. Because we'll show you, we'll show you here. Uh, this unfinished is supposed to be down here. Okay, this little piece right here, this little kick plate, whatever it's called, it's supposed to be down here. So. B1 is completely upside down, uh, which we already put the back on, so that's, I'm about to take those nails out to get that. Uh, so if, if you happen to run into uh, this kind of situation here, just take your little caps off with your little fingernail and uh, take the screws out. Kind of embarrassing, kind of embarrassing. But Flip that around. Okay, we got it back in. Ah, it's just kind of embarrassing. Okay. But uh, now this is about the correct way. Uh, embarrassing, embarrassing. So with that, we're gonna go on to step five or six. 
Now step six, you're going to uh, determine where you want your shelves to be. So we'll go ahead and pull these all out here. And is that the last thing we have? Oh my gosh, that is. So you're just going to select which holes here on the side you want your shelves to be. Make sure you put uh, four of these in on each row that you're going to use. Um, so go to the top, go to the bottom. Shelf. I never put the shelves in. But uh, yeah, we'll put them. Now they just, they just go into the hole, right? Uh, doesn't matter which way they go. Uh, let's see, where, where do we want them? We'll, put, we'll go four up from the bottom of this one. Of course, we can adjust these later if need be. But for now, let's see, we're just going to uh, get them in there. Ah, and then uh, let's go forward, forward down from the top, maybe. That's gonna leave. It's not gonna leave a lot of room in the middle shelf. It's gonna leave a lot of room at the top. So. And from there, you take part uh, E, and you're just going to slide it in with the finished side facing out towards the front of the unit. And then slide the other one in as well, once you want to figure out where you want to place. Uh, and then now from there, you can actually uh, adjust them if need be, because I mean, you just pull the shelf out, pop the peg out, push the peg back in where you want it. And then I'll just you know, put the shelf back in so you can adjust the shelf to where you want it. But uh, that's it. You've got it completed. This is uh, this is what it looks like completed. Uh, fairly simple, not elegant. Uh, but, I mean, it, you get what you pay for, okay? It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> really old, uh, really old uh, achievement uh, for a 1,000 subscribers. We, we've more than doubled that. <laughs> I mean... It's, it's an old one, but it gives me a place to put it. I just haven't printed the new ones. I, I, I haven't. I got a lot of a lot of old ones. <laughs> haven't printed any new ones, though. Um, but, you know, it gives us space to put some things down here uh, beside the desk, uh, beside, you know, in the office, you know, in the office where we're working. Uh, but uh, we'll be able to get our, our speaker or our, our microphones all up there, some camera stuff, a whole bunch of different wires and everything, be able to get them off the desk and uh, hopefully free up the uh, bookshelf upstairs so that uh, the bookshelf up there can actually be for stuff up there instead of stuff that I need down here. That's how you put it together. All right.